Good afternoon and welcome to a Tuesday afternoon edition of Whiteboard Weather. It is July the 30th and it's a warm and humid afternoon, but thankfully not all that rainy thus far across the area. Uh, we saw a few scattered showers, sort of hit and miss here and there, but uh, for the better part of the day and for that matter the afternoon, it has not been raining and that is certainly a good thing but the opportunity for scattered showers will continue as we head down through tonight and even into tomorrow which is something we'll talk about at length coming up but first let us do a live outside edition of our theme song edition of whiteboard weather today um, and I, as some of you have noted as we talked about there have been a few rain showers in parts of the area today but uh, it hasn't been raining all day the one constant for everyone across the area has been the warm humid summer-like conditions let's head inside and we will discuss at length the forecast coming up uh, the custom whiteboard while it is beautiful doesn't travel very well, so we need to come inside uh, to check it out. All right, uh, let us get to some information for today. First off, uh, as always, I ask when you have a chance that you visit PittsburghWeatherNow.com. That is our home. Uh, that's where you can find links to everything we do, all the content, uh, the wake up whiteboard from this morning. If you tuned in this morning, thanks. Uh, we're doing it every Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. So if you're up uh, and at it early, uh, Monday through Friday, you can join us live at 7 a.m. or later at your leisure. Very similar to our 3 o'clock broadcast, live or at your leisure. We also have our fun fact of the day up today. It is Forgotten Weather Words Week. Uh, so uh, are there are weather terms that you may not have heard before. And if you did, it's probably been a long time since you've heard it. So kind of a little different slant on our fun fact of the day. Also our link to our whiteboard weather merchandise. Very quickly, we run down some birthdays for today. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, 71 years old today. Um, Terry Crews, uh, you know him most recently from America's Got Talent, but he's been in many movies, among the most recently, The Expendables series. Um, also, Henry Ford made, made some cars many years back, and they're still making those cars. Uh, Hope Solo, the uh, U.S. soccer star, Friends star Lisa Kudrow celebrates her birthday today. Actress Hilary Swank, and from The Matrix fame, and also the uh, most recently, I saw him in the John Wick movies, Lawrence Fishburne celebrates his birthday today, but he's acted in many, 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 many movies. National Father-in-Law Day today, so hats off to my father-in-law, Dave. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it is National Cheesecake Day today as well. So uh, that's the rundown of what we have cooking. Uh, we put an end to our seven straight dry days with no measurable rain today. Officially, we had seven straight days without measurable rain. That came to an end, though, today. Uh, so... Uh, We'll start another string of dry days coming up, I do believe, on Thursday that will carry us 
into the weekend. Uh, let me run down the current conditions right now. It is 76. We have a uh, west-southwest wind coming in at 8 miles an hour, and that dew point has crept up to 68. So again, it is fairly muggy outside, and we'll stay that way tonight and I think throughout the day tomorrow as well. Here's a look at the latest radar. You can see we're kind of in a lull in the activity. There's activity off to our east and some off to our north and west. Uh, you can see parts of Mercer County picking up on some rain right now. Also some showers back near the uh, Youngstown and Boardman area. Uh, again, I think the activity will be mainly scattered as we head down through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening and also into the day tomorrow. We'll see some hit and miss showers from time to time as well, but there will not be any sort of a complete washout over the next 24 hours, but we'll dodge a few showers from time to time. Um, as a cold front will be heading into and through the area, the problem is the cold front is moving very slowly, uh, so it's going to take the better part of the next 24 hours to get that front through the area. Right now that boundary is across central and western sections of Ohio, so again it is moving very slowly. Slowly, You can see it right here being held up by a little wave of low pressure back near the Columbus area. Once that wave of low pressure, which is that area, that L right here, once that lifts north, the boundary will start to get a little bit more of a push. Again, it's not going to be speedy. Gonzalez getting through here, but it will start to nudge through here and limp through here. This is tomorrow morning at about uh, 7 a.m., and you can see things still moving fairly slowly. And then by late in the day tomorrow, the front will be moving finally through the area. And then this is Thursday morning, the front fully passed through the area into the south. And then from there, you can see a large area of high pressure is going to settle in across the Great Lakes. That will suppress the moisture down to the south. And as a result, we'll get back to some dry conditions from start to finish Thursday, I think Friday, Saturday, and even into Sunday as well. At least a string of four dry days in a row, which will be well-timed coming up with the weekend. So that is a look at the surface map. Let us go to the whiteboard, and I'll show you my breakdown of what I expect over the next several days. Hi Sharon and Seven Fields, thanks for checking in. Um, your sunrise and sunset times, you can see on our custom whiteboard here, boy that's a thing of beauty. Whiteboard weather simply accurate. 837, 616, as you know the daylight hours get shorter and shorter. Average high and low haven't changed much, 82, 63, and we're sort of in the final sliver of a crescent moon. The new moon is actually tomorrow, and we'll talk more about that. It is our second new moon of the month of July, and that has the, uh, the term called a black moon. So we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Rainfall at most in the next 24 hours, a half of an inch or less, so not enough rainfall to cause any issues with any flash flooding. The flash flood guidance is fairly high, given, again, the lack of rain in the last seven days. So officially for the month of July, our number hasn't changed, 6.79 inches. We will need, by midnight tomorrow night, 0.53 inches to crack the top 10 of wettest Julys on record. So right now we're not even in the top 10, even though we've had a healthy rain total for the month. And again, until today, we had seven straight days without measurable rain. For tonight, a mild, muggy night, probably partly to mostly cloudy, 65, and we'll list the chance for scattered showers. Uh, we'll dodge some showers from time to time tonight. And through the day tomorrow, I think the greatest threat would be for maybe a, an isolated heavier downpour of rain. But that certainly won't be the, uh, the norm. It'll be the exception rather than the rule if you get a heavier downpour. 80 tomorrow, mostly cloudy with that front limping through the area. Does make its way through the area tomorrow night. Skies turn partly cloudy. 63, the low temperature. Then on Thursday... Mixture of clouds and sunshine, it's going to feel a lot less humid. Those dew points will come down on Thursday, 82. And I have a look ahead to the weekend, 83 on Friday, mostly sunny. And Saturday and Sunday will be carbon copies of one another, both days warm with sunshine and high temperatures of 84 degrees. So it looks 
fantastic heading through the weekend for whatever your weekend plans might include. So that is the breakdown. I should also mention before, right before I came on air with you, I was reading uh, on social media, if you've missed it today, the uh, Three Rivers Regatta canceled. Uh, I think it was scheduled to go off, I don't think it was this weekend, but next weekend, uh, but that is canceled. Uh, apparently somebody forgot, somebody that was supposed to get the proper insurance didn't do it, uh, and as a result they can't go through, so the Three Rivers Regatta is canceled. Maybe you heard it here first, maybe not. Um, I want to do announce uh, our car wash winner. If you were watching this morning or maybe later at your leisure, I asked for you to share the whiteboard, wake up whiteboard segment. Uh, and from those shares, select a winner for one of these. A free, I know it's backwards, don't at me. A free car wash at Wet Go. Uh, that would be, you get the highest end car wash you can, which is a showroom wash. Uh, so the winner of the car wash today is Donna Stutz Moser. If you're watching Donna, we will reach out to you to get your information, to get your coupon to you. And thank you for watching and sharing. We'll do it again tomorrow morning. Uh, and I ask you that you share this whiteboard weather segment with your Facebook friends. Uh, we're also on YouTube. For those of you that uh, enjoy YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, you can subscribe to it as all these videos appear there uh, as well. As always, please visit PittsburghWeatherNow.com uh, for all of your updated contents. That's where the fun facts, where, it's where all the videos are posted, our all-weather wealth tips, our moon golf forecast, um, and much, much, much more. Um, that will do it for today. Uh, dodging a few raindrops. Scattered showers the rest of today, tonight, and even into tomorrow, but some better weather on the way for the weekend. Hope you have a great rest of this Tuesday, and I will talk to you bright and early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. See ya. Peace.